I'd like to show you how to produce a histogram of uh, some data. Uh, I mark uh, the cell range for the sale price. I choose insert and I choose a histogram. Um, Excel has its own predefined rules how to define the number of bins here and also the boundaries of those categories and we see uh, that, for instance, in a range between 62,900 and 90,900, there's 46 observations and there's 87 observations in that range. So we get some information about the distribution of the data. We see it's skewed, slightly skewed, that distribution. And uh, we'll take a look at that later on again. I prefer to choose my own... Um, categories and boundaries of those categories uh, and I'll show you how to do that. For that purpose I choose a number slightly above the minimum and it might take some experience uh, regarding the number of bins and uh, the step size here and you could also maybe need some trial and error here. Uh, so anyways I have defined that cell range here. Now I choose from the data analysis uh, toolbox the histogram I define the input range, uh, I define the bin range, and that's uh, the range I've just created before. Um, I mark one cell more uh, than uh, I have defined for reasons that you will see in a second. I check the labels, um, since I've included the name in the cell range uh, of the input. Um, and for the output range, I put the results on that same sheet. And as you will see in a second, I'll put that uh, two rows above uh, that uh, bin range definition. Now, um, you can see now that we get information about the frequency count. Again, the number of observations in the range between 50,000 and 100 or we get 249 cases between 100 and 150. Uh, so since Excel reproduces the bin range um, by default, you can't avoid that, I find it quite uh, useful to um, uh, choose the output range in that way. So I could say up until 50,000 uh, 50, uh, and 450 more. So uh, these are the, the ranges from below, the ranges from above, and all the others in between.